What's up and happy mental push-up Monday, baby. Today we're going to talk about the comeback from the challenge. So a few weeks ago, I was preparing to go to the gym. I get in my car and I turn the key and it was shaking a little bit. So I should have known something was up with it. But the car, I'm, I'm, I go back to my phone. I'm trying to turn my system on. And then I hear this boom, boom, and the car stops. And so instantly inside, I'm freaking out because, hey, don't we all need a car? Don't we all need a vehicle to get around? And I had stuff to do. I was about to go to the gym, and I even was supposed to go to school today, but it didn't happen. So I have to completely reroute and figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm like, oh my God, what if I need to get a car? I start calling my dad, I start calling all these people because I am freaking the hell out right now. Yes, I am. But um, it was very challenging not having a vehicle, but it taught me so many things about overcoming challenge and just about myself. And in this space that we're in, it's a bit of a challenge. I mean, we've been just roaming around the world, doing all the things that we want to do. And for the past week, we have been sitting at our cribs, at the house, watching all the shows, reading all the books, all that. So I want to share with you three things that I learned from this challenge that can help us through the next few weeks, months, whatever it is. So number one, hey, we all need help. You know, like this is going to be a little bit of a challenge right here. We are going to need the help of others. So I consider myself to be pretty independent. I can be a little bit prideful. I hate asking for help. But when I didn't have a car, I had to rely on other people to help me. My neighbor, she picked me up from tutoring. My manager, she took me to tutoring a few times. But I literally had to depend on the help of others. And to get through this tough time, that's what we're going to need. We're going to need each other. So if you need help, don't be afraid to ask. Oftentimes we hear that, oh my gosh, like we're weak if we ask for help. But as I said several weeks ago, the, what gets you, what, the really courage and the power is in those that are willing to ask. So please, like if you need something, ask. Ask for help. The second thing I learned was, hey, I had to find a way. Because here I am, I don't have a vehicle. So when you don't have a vehicle, you have to figure out how to get places. I think I took Uber, I said, that's a little pricey. So I had to get really creative in how I got around. So I remember one day my, my auntie, she took me to the gym. Cause I was like, I gotta get my, you know, I've been doing this workout plan. I'm trying to get right and tight. So I get to the gym, I'm finished. I'm like, how am I getting home? How am I getting home? So I have this three-fourth gallon of water <laughs> with me, three-fourth gallon. And you know what? I'm on Highway 64 and I'm running like this, two and a half miles. But you know what? I got home. I found a way to get home. And so often when our back is against the wall and we have nowhere else to go, we got to figure out a way. And so what happens is it awakens things inside of us that we didn't even know that we could even do. Because I had no clue that I could run two and a half miles with three-fourths gallon of water. I usually roll my cell phone in my hand or I'm walking my dog or something like that. But I ran with three-fourths gallons of water. And so challenges are literally sent there to awaken stuff in us that we don't even know is there. Because I heard this thing about Les Brown one time. He said, you know, when you're at the point of no retreat, you'll figure some stuff out. Like one day... I had some I had some greens, a fried egg on top, and vegan sausage. Like that was my meal because I knew that I could not <laughs> get in the car and just drive to whatever I want. So I, I learned a little bit of humility there. You know? You just gotta figure it out. Find a way. And so what's gonna happen from this really challenging time? Hey, guess what? We're gonna get really freaking creative, man. We're gonna find some things up about ourselves that we didn't even know were there yet. And the last thing that I'll say that the challenges and the challenges are going to teach us our gratitude. So since I've been binge watching on the TV, you know, I've been watching all kinds of movies. I'm just like, oh, how I envy the people that are in a room filming a, sh filming a show together, you know, and I'll be the first to admit, you know, like I don't like meetings. I can't stand meetings. I don't like them. I would much rather like, let's just go do it, right? Let's stop talking, let's go do it. But I can so appreciate like, if I had the chance again to sit with my colleagues and just, hey, let's go to Uptown and have a meeting about an action plan. Like, it'd be freaking great right now. 
just just the small things that we take for granted like we get in the hustle and bustle of life but it's actually the beauty the the beauty is you know in gratitude because I imagine most of us now we're like man the privilege to just hop in a car and go wherever I wanted to wow what a blessing so it's, it's taught me to just be grateful and appreciate what I already have versus like looking at like what I don't have. Like we get to do these things. We don't have to have this stuff. In closing, I'll leave you with this. Rock bottom will teach you lessons that the mountaintop never will. I'm gonna say that one more time for the people in the back. Rock bottom will teach you lessons that the mountaintop never will. I'm gonna list for you a few of my accomplishments. Level five teacher, on a roll student, all conference player, triple state, uh, tri uh, triple jump state champion. These are great things that I've done. However, where have I learned the most? Failed relationships, getting cut from the basketball team, depression sophomore year in college. These have been some of my rock bottom moments. And from these moments, I've been transformed. I've learned things about myself and I've become an even greater version of who I am. Like this vlog is literally from a rock bottom moment. So I wanna tell each one of you, I understand this is tough. Like we don't know what's gonna happen. Something is probably changing right now. But I challenge you to just stay empowered and understand that these challenges that show up, this is an opportunity for us to level up and become an even greater version of, who I, of ourselves. Like from this moment, we're gonna come out of this thing and we're gonna be somebody different. We're gonna be an even better, more inspired, empowered version of ourselves because it's gonna awaken things in us and shake stuff up that we didn't even know was inside of us. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Get out there this week and continue to do those mental push-ups. I understand, it's a challenge out here in these streets. And I'm out.